This is freaking crazy. I can't believe I'm doing this now. Did you hear something? I think I hear someone talking. Whatever that thing is, it's He's barking in my direction. A few videos that I'm looking forward to this week are... Ah, oh, shoot, I can't remember. These are some videos that I'm looking forward to in the coming few days or weeks. So I hope that I see you then, and I hope you'll stick around and enjoy them with me, because they were... Fun. <laughs> so, I've never done this before. I don't think I've ever camped in a tent out in my yard. Y'all are probably like, like, oh my god, I can't wait for this video. All right, all right, I started the camera. What the heck? I have a haircut. That's different. That's weird, Trey. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? You'll see in about maybe, what, 30, 40 days? We're camping in my backyard. <laughs> I've never built a tent. I'm about to, I'm probably about to get a bunch of weird eyes staring at me while I build this tent, but I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Also, not at the same time because it's daylight outside right now, and it's not nighttime right now. <laughs> I'm gonna plan on camping right here next to the house in my backyard. Let's go and let's go get the camping gear and shit. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm gonna be going to Pennsylvania in like two days. Day 14, baby. Make sure you guys come and look. I hope that's how it works out. If not, things worked out differently, like I always say. You may be wondering, yo, you've never said that ever before. What do you mean? You'll, you'll understand in about 30 to 40 days. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, we got a new mic, baby. Rest in peace, Mike is dead. But rest in peace, Mike. I think it's kind of a dumb idea to be talking and like n be not be on camera. You know what I mean? I think that might be a dumb idea. Now, I looked up a YouTube video on how to do this before, before I started. So I kind of have a rough idea of what to do. So don't worry guys, we got this. We're not gonna be eaten by bears tonight, okay? Well, I mean, that would take a lot of the pain away. Dude, it's bigger than I thought, bro. Aw, oh, God damn it! what's up, Day69? How you doing? <laughs> Pause. Can you just imagine if you saw a face in that window right there? That would be terrifying if you ask me. Oh no, we got it, we got it. Man, is this relaxing? Is this relaxing? You just hear a bunch of the birds outside right now and... Oh yeah, I see a moth. Camping. Campster. Where'd he go? He's, he's, Oh. Okay, so now in the corners of each thingy, you need to put like, put like those sticks. The stakes. The stakes. Yes, the stakes. Mm, yes, indeed, stakes. There's already stickular piculars on the cr on the uh, corners of it. The model oh my god, that scared me, dude. I forgot I had a Bluetooth speaker, dude. Well, okay, seems simple enough. Dude, it is getting hot, bro. The weather's been getting colder and colder. It's been feeling really nice, you know? It's been feeling really, really nice. But uh, as the sun gets higher and higher in the sky, it gets to be harder and harder to survive. I need more grass. I want more grassland. So what you're clearly gonna wanna do, right? Trust me. I'm not a professional. But what I understand is that you need to put all four stakes into this circle thing, right? Just, and just shove them. Just shove it into the ground. Ugh, ugh. Obviously check, check your like house. Make sure you don't like stab a fucking electric oil line or something. You know, that would not be very good. Bro, what are the birds even fucking talking about? Can you hear them? Dude, why does it sound like I'm in a goddamn jungle, dude? I think I did this part quite well. Now I need to, now I need to put the, like these things, but like the longer ones into the, the tippity top of it. I'm literally standing on my house right now, dude. <gasps> oh, there's a spider, there's a spider. Oh, I didn't think of that there, I was gonna see that, dude. Oh, oh my God. Oh, fucking bumblebee. Don't you have shit to do, goddammit? I swear to God, I will f you. You know, nature is, is beautiful and all, but it's it's something that I admire from inside a home. It's not something that I would be like, Okay, let's go fucking sleep on the dirt over there. No, no. 
Hell no. 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 Leave me alone, B. God damn it, I'm doing sh Can't we all just respect the fact that we all have to work hard? God, is that too much to ask in this world? Oh, that's what that's for. Is that what that's for? Look, come see. God damn it, you can't walk. There's a hole in this thing, right? And this thing is like uh, a thing that you put in the hole. Oh, what's up, 69 day people? I guess the bee heard me, you know? I, I guess it's like, yeah, dude, fair enough. No! 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 I literally need you to stay standing up. The steak just came off! My steak fell off! Well, that's not good. Uh, what, what now is... That might be a little, a little bit of a good question. God damn it, it came out again! I think I'm supposed to put both of them in first. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause it is, it is strongly like in there, you know? Dude, pause! Is this whole video- I'm not even in front of the camera, but that, you know, that's what you came here for. Shit content, right? I guess it goes through it like this, does it? I guess. They can go over and under each other. It doesn't really matter. I guess. Dude, this thing must be so important. It's like the spine of the tent. Oh, the bee. I bet the bee's like, hey, homie, what are you fucking doing out here on my turf? I'm like, bro, I just want to sleep outside. They're like, hey, that's my job. And of course, this thing came out of the stake too. Where did it go? Oh, no. I bet it was the goddamn spider that did this. Hey, look at the tent. Holy shit! Oh shit, and it's near Halloween. I didn't even... I mean, I, I knew that, but like, I didn't realize that, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna be camping outside. This should be the Halloween video for, for 104. I thought about doing that, yeah. Like, I thought about doing specials, you know, like Christmas shit, uh, like holiday shit. But I was like, I don't, I don't know when I'm gonna start putting these videos out, you know what I mean? So, I kinda just, I kinda just ignored the holiday ideas. Cause I have a, a playlist on the channel called Holiday Stuff. And I thought about adding some 104 videos in there. But hey, yo, I think I finished. I need to put up the tarp and shit. But I also need to put the uh, spine in those black holders. So that way I can add some more room, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Yo, I'm actually proud of this, dude. What the hell? What is this thing for? What is, what is, what is, what is this thing for? Where does, I don't know where this goes. Where does this go? Oh, does it go inside? Pause! Oh shit, the sun. The sun used to make our outdoor kitchen and patio space so hot and uncomfortable. We couldn't use it. That's why I've got sunset retractable awning. This shit said it could fit one queen-sized air mattress. I don't know how much I believe in that. I really don't. I'm just gonna put this homie in here right here. I feel like I should invite people, but I don't have anybody. Okay, uh, I need to put the sun, I mean the rain thing on so the sun doesn't annihilate me. Oh dude, the wind is helping me. Look at that shit. Thank you, mother nature. Oh, God damn it. All right, I don't think it matters how I, how I did the rain thing in Majig. Look at that, dude. I freaking made it. We made it out here, boys. I can't wait till nightfall, dude. It's gonna be even scarier. So I'm gonna put up my door. Actually, we're gonna go inside. Pause. How nice. Man. This is so cool. And I got me a little, I got me some windows. Look, I got some windows right here. Got some mesh. I have uh, things for my lanterns here at the top. See that? Oh, dude, the moth, the bug is still in here. What the f Got some pockets right here for, uh, for your <laughs> telephones. Cool, cool. And it's only getting hotter today. It appears to be 77 right now and the high is gonna be 81. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna meet you back here in a few hours. Yeah, I think that might be the plan. I think my tripod broke and I need that for tonight. Also, if you see my lips are shiny, it's cause I have Accutane and uh, I, um, goddamn, I forgot to get, I, I forgot to take my freaking dose today actually. Shit, I've been snacking all day, I can eat it right now. But no, so I'm gonna go and buy one right now. So I'll see you in a second. <laughs> What's going on? I'm back and it is five something. I don't know the time, but it's like getting late. The sun has went down. The temperature is a bit colder and I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but I've never done this before and I'm very excited. Sorry, I took up your whole screen just now. I put my books over there. But yeah, guys, I got a new tripod because I, I think the other one legit broke on me and I don't know. Yeah, right now I'm getting all my stuff. I got some Oreos too to snack on. <laughs> oh, 
You know what would be really messed up? Is if, is if your zipper door got f***ed up and jammed. Because I think that's what just now happened to me. Alright, I got it. Problem solved. The sun is setting. <laughs> and I'm getting so nervous. Dude, you might not be able to tell, right? But it looks so, it's so, I'm gonna be sleeping out there. Like, cause there are wild dogs around here. So like, I'm nervous. I'm just kind of nervous for that. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna have like pizza. I'm gonna have like snacks and stuff. So, uh. Why you didn't put it under like one of the oak trees farther out? It's okay. What do you think about it? What y'all think about it? I think it's good. Right I there. Wish you'd have done it on the, uh, Come on, do what you gotta do. I you gotta go. Built a little bonfire. <laughs> what you think of it, Dad? Oh, I like it. Too bad it ain't on a weekend, dude. You gotta let me know when you're doing this so we can put up a little uh campfire. A little campfire right there. We can set up the burning pit, huh? Yeah. When it goes down, you throw a log on it. <laughs> yeah. I think it would be fine. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I don't know if I could fit in here. It said it could fit three people. No. And look, I can hang my lantern or whatever up here yeah. or something. There you go. A little pouch behind your head for like phones. Look, a skeet in here already. It's because we left the let, door open. Yeah, let me let, let. It's not bad for a $30 tent. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hang up that lantern and let me check it out. Actually, do you have paper clips, Mom? Sure we do. We don't have paper clips in the wilderness. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> What's it look like? That is easy. You can? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is crazy, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do I? Yeah, I need a paper clip so I can hang it up here. Stupid yeah. bug. No. Two hands, Trey. What? Slap it with two hands. Yeah. You don't want your tent to fall out. Oh yeah, you're right. So you got some water? Yeah, I have I have two and a half bottles. You wanna join? <laughs> Dad! You want me to put the door light on? No. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Next time we're gonna do a little campfire. Oh yeah. Dude, it's getting dark in here. Alright guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang the lantern up top. We're gonna be set. I just realized the lighting in this video is not gonna be the best. <laughs> oh shoot, I have my mic. I forgot about that. And just like that, we got ourselves a beautiful chandelier. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> and then look. It has like a red light. And then it's off. And then it's on. And you pull it. Yo, guys, I know I might do this again, how dark, like a darkness update outside, but look at how dark it is now. And just like that, the sun is gone. <laughs> and you know what? It's gonna get even darker soon. <laughs> the final product is done. It is so freaking dark outside. But here she is. Ooh, like LeBron, though, or like Bonzo. Ooh, I'm a baller, yeah, shot caller, yeah. They love me, you can't touch me, nah, can't trust me. I'm too lucky. Look at me, look at you, what you see, what you do. Baby, please, think it through. Drink it up, enjoy the view. MVP, got my crew, Nike, on my shoes, might be sipping boost, slightly feeling loose. If I want it, then I have it. Got an ice dress, causing damage, just like I planned it. I'll be damn rich. Have a chef in the bag, make a sandwich. Man, there is nothing better than camping in a tent in your backyard while watching a scary Markiplier video. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. I sleep naked. What am I gonna do? Hey, yo, can someone turn the air on? It's freaking, it's kind of getting hot in here, dude. I think someone's calling their dog. What is that? What is that? 
What was that? Dude, I think I hear someone talking. What is that? What was that? Are they saying hello? Did you hear something? What was that? Oh my god. Benji, it's gonna be okay, man. Benji, yeah, it's gonna be okay. Man, this is so cozy, dude. Dude, I mean, I'm hearing wild dogs. They're yelping and sh Oh my god. Hold up, I wanna see if I can try to hear them. Oh my god. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> you know what it, it sounds like? It sounds like there's a dog with a deeper voice and he's barking in like, it sounds like he's barking in my direction and there's a bunch of like little babies and he's like barking at them and then he barks into my direction and I had pizza just a little bit ago and I'm kind of nervous like cause it sounds like he's fucking telling them like hey hey everybody <laughs> I smell some goddamn good ass shit <laughs> in this direction let's go over here guys oh man I do be a snack though so I don't blame him for trying to kill me you know eat me up and sh don't flirt with the rabid dogs <laughs> I'm not gonna flirt with the rabid dogs <laughs> Ah, uh, dude, what if I need a poo-poo? Okay. Yo. I can hear my parents talking and stuff. Hey, hey is mom making all that ruckus? No, mom, mom's in the uh, utility room, I guess, but... Alright, alright, well, I'ma go now. I'm telling, I'm telling... Uh, show me, show me your camp. Alright, look. Show me your camp, man. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. Where, where's your, uh, where you hung your lights at? Right here. It's up at the top. Oh, yeah, man. On some you, you paper clip. Yeah. You, you can squeeze it up, that way it won't be so bright. And right. the mosquitoes gonna get your ass. Yeah, yeah. I love you too. Love you too. I would, I would uh, go snuggle with you, but I got a belly full of gumbo. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Love you, boo. Love you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Scary stories time. This is proof that I'm still in the goddamn tent. I'm gonna be in here for 24 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. So this is a nice and cozy environment. We got Benya, we got Benji. What's up, homie? How you doing? Why does it look like you're looking directly into my face? That's goddamn creepy. What should we start with first? Do not visit Lover's Lane. The unheated warning. The killer under the bed. <laughs> Beds? Come on now, dude. What does? What do I look like? Someone with a home? Uh, there's ghost stories. There's the ghost of Rest Haven. There's the the final performance. God damn, that sounds sad. There's prom night. <laughs> that also sounds sad. Tombstone terror. That sounds good. I think we're gonna start with. Yeah, I, I started reading a, the ghost of Rest Haven a little bit ago, which sounded pretty good. It sounded pretty cool. God damn it, I literally threw my mic. All right, Mike, you good? You good, Mike? Rest in peace, Mike. Rest in peace, old Mike. The ghost of Rest Haven. <gasps> Aunt Nancy. Dang it, Lacey. <laughs> Aunt Lacey loved taking her niece, Feli- Feli- Aunt Lacey loved taking her niece, Felicity, on day trips. One of their favorite destinations was the beach. One summer day, the air was particularly refreshing and the water a perfect temperature for wading. I almost said wadding. Is it wadding? Hold your wad! <laughs> Aunt Lacey and Felicity became enamored. That is a huge word, homie. Anyway, Aunt Lacey and Felicity became enamored with the little creatures that they were finding in the tide pools and all at once realized that not only was the sun setting, but it looked as if a very bad thunderstorm was coming. Pause. They quickly got into the car to head home. The storm was worse than Lacey had thought and she was afraid to keep driving. She decided to pull off the road until the storm passed. That sounds cozy. But just as she was about to do so, Felicity declared, Look, there's a place we could stay. Sure enough, Lacey saw a sign on a large house, rest haven, rooms for rent, day, week, month. 
feeling relieved, Lacey pulled in, parked, and then they both ran on the porch as quickly as possible. A white-haired woman answered the door before they could even knock. She said, I have been expecting you. Although this seemed odd to Lacey, the woman had a pleasant smile. Oh my God, you goddamn bug. Get the frick away, dude. Bro, they're messing with me, dude. They're literally talking shit amongst each other. The woman had a pleasant smile. So she pushed her feeling of unease to the back of her mind and smiled back. The old woman gave them a hot meal and showed them to a warm, cozy room. Damn, that sounds so good right now, dude. Um, the furniture was worn, was old and worn, but clean. When they awoke in the morning, they were eager to head home. There was no cell phone reception at the old house, and Lacey was sure Felicity's mom must be frantic with worry. They wanted to thank the proprietor, but she was nowhere to be found. They left a note taped to the door jam and with some money for their stay and left. A few miles down the road, Aunt Lacey's phone beeped, indicating that she had a message or a call. She stopped at a country gas station to call Felicity's mom and tell her they were on their way and okay. Lacey decided to fill her tank and buy some drinks. While paying for the gas and drinks, she made conversation with, a attendant, with the attendant telling him about their enjoyable stay at Rest Haven. Looking surprised, the man told Lacey and Felicity that, that the home had burned down years ago, killing the owner. They could not believe what they had been told, so headed back to see. There was no house, but on the ground lay their note and the money. The end, baby. That's kind of creepy, but not creepy enough. I mean, I thought I heard something behind me. So, uh, what should we what should we read next? Don't visit Lovers Lane. That sounds cool. Let's do that. A young couple went to the movies and stopped at the local Lovers Lane for some kissing. <laughs> the boy turned on the radio to set the mood. <laughs> Just as he reaches his arms around his girlfriend, a news bulletin warns of an escaped murderer. <laughs> for an escaped murderer who has a hook for a right hand. The man had escaped from a facility for the criminally insane. Wow. So he's fucking insane, isn't he? The boy thinks it will be funny to tease his girlfriend to scare her. He begins to tell her he is sure they're in a place the escapee might choose to hide. He goes on and on, terrifying his girlfriend. He hoped she would throw herself into his arms for comfort. However, his plan backfires. His girlfriend insists they leave right away. Reluctantly, the boy drives his girlfriend home. When she gets out, she begins yelling and faints. God damn it. The young man jumps out and runs around the car. There, on her door handle, was a bloody hook. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty creepy. That's pretty scary if you, if you ask me. Now, uh, I'm going the fuck inside of my house, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. We're gonna read, we're gonna read two more stories. They're, they're short, though. This one's called The Creek. Oh, okay, this is pretty cool. It's like a poem. Creek. A sound. Faint. Distant, but still heard. Crack. Something snapping. Or being tr trampled on. The man sits in his room, reading. The room is silent except for the quiet burning fire. Creak. Just the house settling, nothing more. Crack. Perhaps some small animals outdoors. Whoosh. Was that the wind? The man stands up and peeks out the window. A clear night is all he sees. The full moon. What the fuck is this word? God damn it. <laughs> Search. Did they mean to spell brilliant? Define? <laughs> God damn. Brilliant. Brilliant. What the fuck? <laughs> the moon, brilliant in the sky, brilliant in the sky, laughing at his ner at his nervousness. He returns to his book. Creak. The man now silently chuckles at the sound. Oh my God! What was that? What was that sound, dude? That was a fucking creak. If I ever heard one before. Crack. How would he have been scared of some sounds? Whoosh. Must be breezy out tonight. Thump. Did that come from within, from within the house? The man stares into the fire, trying to calm his jangled nerves. 
creak, crack, whoosh. The sounds never cease. Thump, thump, thump. Closer, he thinks. The sounds are getting closer. He shuts the book and closes his eyes and thinks of something besides his wild imagination. Creak, thump, crack, thump, whoosh. Son of a bitch, I need to boo. I need to baboosh. Thump, thump, thump. A pause? The man moves quietly, silently, slowly towards the door with a nervous gant, gait. Gat. Thump, a step back. Thump, yes, it's getting closer. Thump. He stares at the door, trying to somehow see through it. Thump. Wow, what an idiot. Okay. He reaches slowly for the doorknob and hand shaking, no longer able to take, not knowing. Creak, a loose floorboard near the door outside. Thump. He slowly opens the door, a scream. Silence. It's his fucking mom with a thing of cookies. I'm joking, that's not part of the story. But that was a crazy story. It's called Creek. I freaking, I'm a fan of that one. Wow. I wanna, cause La Llorona is part of it, but it shows up a Wikipedia page, so I'm sad. But, uh, hey man, shout out to La Llorona, you know. There's a thing called The Smiling Man, I know about that one, but I'm... <laughs> Listen, <laughs> there's also Axe Murder Hollow, The Red Spot. I'm curious to know what that one is. How long is it? Oh, damn it. What's up, Day69? Oh, God damn it. Why do they have to put pictures? Dude. <laughs> okay, so it's just telling me what it's about. Okay. One night, a young girl was sleeping in her bed when a spider crawled across her face. It stopped for a few minutes on her left cheek. Then it went out on its way. Not what it said, but okay. When she woke up the next morning and looked in the mirror, she noticed a red spot on her cheek. What's this? She asked her mother. It looked like a spider bite. Her mother replied, it will go away. Just don't scratch it. Soon, the small red spot grew into a big red boil. Look at it now, the girl said. It's getting bigger. Pause. That sometimes happens, her mother said. It's coming, it's coming to, <laughs> pause, God damn it! it's coming to a head. In a few days, the red spot was even, hu even huger. Look at it now, the girl said. It hurts so much and it's making me look so ugly. We'll have the doctor look at it, her mother said. Maybe it's infected, but the doctor couldn't see the girl until the next day. That night, she decided to take a nice relaxing bath. As she lay soaking in the warm water, the boil suddenly burst. Out poured a swarm of tiny spiders from the egg, from the eggs their mother had laid on in her cheek. Oh shit, is that it? Oh my god, that's the end of the story. Oh my god, that was crazy, dude. Well, that's all the scary stories I'm going to be doing for tonight. Uh, it looks like my laptop is about to die, and so am I. Oh, that's the end of the video, I think. Oh my god. You know, after the outro, I could I could just be waking up in the morning or something, I guess. That would be cool. That's a good ending, I think. I didn't expect it. I think I should do a little bit more skits before the end, but I think I'm done. I think that I think that'll be good. good it is 10 17 and i'm still in the tent however i did go inside to use the bathroom i could have stayed in there but i came back out <laughs> like the goddamn psycho i am you may be wondering yo you could just use the bathroom outside because right? you're camping not really because i'm in my backyard right and i live on the highway and in the center of like the neighborhood right and uh, there's houses on each side of us and behind us and a highway in front and all around near our house, we have cameras. So, I went inside. <laughs> Pause. So yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. It's kind of weird. I'm kind of nervous, but but we're good. So, I think I might go to bed soon. I'm going to close out for now. Well, guys, look at the time. It is... 6.32 now. Not exactly sunrise. Sunrise is in like 40 minutes. It's, it's, 
I think it said uh, seven thirteen or something, which is what sun what, what sunrise is. I don't know if I'm gonna stay out here till that. You can kind of see the sun over there. Look, can you see it? Oh, that counts. There's the sun. I did it. I can now officially say that I stayed overnight outside in my backyard in a tent. So. Look at this. Look at us now, man. Oh, man, I'm so glad to see the sun. I wanted to see the sun a little bit, at least. I did it, man. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys for tomorrow for an up-to-date video. Leave a comment, whatever you want to see, just in case if I can throw something in it within a day, you know? Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Hey guys, this quality better be freaking good. I'm recording on my phone, but because uh, I'm recording it in 4K and 60 frames per second. So, because <laughs> every time it's like not good quality. Anyway, this was really sad to take down the tent. It was really sad. It's not a. It's not pretty to see it. It wasn't. It wasn't too. It wasn't too beautiful. It was actually kind of sad. Rest in peace, tent. Anyway, that's it for me. Make sure you guys meet me back for when I camp in the wilderness. Beep Tweebot.